Hi there, JW Strugglers. Hello, cult survivors. Hello, fellow travelers on the beautiful, winding road of life. I wanted to share with you what I've been doing. You know, I, I went to Southern Cal uh, to see some, some friends, uh, one old friend in particular. What a fantastic time I had. We talked about deep things, interesting things, new books. We talked about evolution and philosophy and science. I met a new uh, friend, an ex-J-Dub lady that has just been going through the ringer, got a chance to share a meal and meet her. You know, so many great people are out there and we're all, you know, we're all learning. We go through life and if we can go through life, if we can go through one day and leave the world a better place, if we can help somebody, I, I mean, to me, I don't know if there's anything better than that. And to be able to pair it with going to a fun, interesting, exciting place, meeting friends, traveling, love to travel, have I told you that? Love to travel, love to meet people, see things, do things. We live on a beautiful pale blue dot, as Carl Sagan said. And if you haven't seen the pale blue dot video, YouTube it, because it's amazing. But anyways, I'm all over the place. I'm happy. Uh, and I want to share something that happened. I was gassing up my car. You know, we've all been there. We got four hours, five hours, whatever. We got this drive. We're going to go home. So I get my gas. I get my change. I say, do you have a bathroom? He gives me the key. I go around behind this gas station. And right as I'm coming up to the bathroom door, the door flies open. And out pops this girl. I don't know, probably in her mid-twenties, and she's got two hefty bags that she can barely hold that are bursting at the seams with clothes and shoes and, and stuff, and she drops them on the ground, and she goes, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm just a mess, and I said, I mean, I could tell something was not right, and I said, are you okay, and she bursts into tears and she says, I'm not okay. And I, I, you know, I mean, I, I didn't know what to say. There was like a little pause for a moment. And then I said, look, I don't know you. My name is Eric. What is your name? She said, my name is Jessica. I said, Jessica, can I give you a hug? And she grabbed a hold of me and gave me this hug and she just burst into tears again and she just cried and I I mean I held her I held her for oh I don't know 30 45 seconds and you know I I don't know exactly what was going on obviously I I'm, I don't I've never met this person and I said do you have a place to go and she said no I don't have a place to go and she's blinking back tears and, and you know, by this time we're standing there talking and she's looking down, she had this big floppy hat on, you know, she's covering her face. I really never got much of a look at her face. She was short, kind of a petite girl. And she said, my boyfriend, my boyfriend, he's abusive. He, he, he kicked me out. And you know, she's got these hefty bags, which are about to rip. You know, those, those bags are flimsy. And I can see shoes sticking out and clothing and, and poor thing. She's got this big floppy hat on and there was a tag on the back of it. And I said, you have a tag on the back. And I pulled the tag off. Look, she probably jacked the hat. I mean, this poor girl, she was trying to cover her face because she says next, she says, my boyfriend, he, he burned my face with a cigarette. He's abusive. And, and I, I just... You know, I just said to her, I said, look, Jessica, there are good people in this world. They're not all like that. Seek the good. Seek the good. And then I said, look, do you need money? And she said, yes. And I, I, I gave her $20 and I, you know, I pulled, I, that's what I had. And I, I gave her $20 and I said, look, find a place. Do you have family? Do you have friends that you can go and stay with? And she said, no. I said, look, there's shelters, there's programs, I, I, you know, and she says, I used to be a Sunday school teacher, and then she started to cry again, and, and I said, look, there is good in this world, find it, I'm so glad that I met you, I, you know, I probably am never going to see you again, but I hope that, that, you know, you can figure out what to do and where to go next, and she said, I will, I will, and, 
she said thank you and and that was it you know I went into the bathroom and took a pee and you know when I came out she was gone of course and you know we just don't know if we can help or, or how we have helped one comment one statement one phone call to an old friend you know it, it, there's so many ways we can help and, and we can make a difference in people's life. I find that very gratifying. I'm sorry I'm emotional today. It's just, it's a good day. And when I get happy, I get emotional. That's just me. Call me a pussy. Call me, you know, whatever. You call me whatever you want. I don't care. It's not going <laughs> to... I certainly don't give a crap. <laughs> and, I, and I know who I am. I know, and, and I, I just, I'm, I'm happy, and I'm glad that I was able to share this. Well, you know, that isn't even what I want to say. I'm, I feel fortunate that I was able to meet this girl, and, uh, you know, that's it. I don't have to, you know, I'm getting tired of talking about JW stuff all the time. You know, there's so much more, there's so many more interesting things to talk about than the Jehovah Witnesses and their abusive policies and their and their their dirty dangerous tactics and the gossip and the slander that floats around in their culture and and from one ear to the next mouth to the next mouth to the next ear it's it's sad be the change you know be the change the order is rapidly fading for the times they are itchy.